Today, we show the world our true strength. Perhaps it will give you some as well. Can you feel that? What up guys, it's Zebra Hellrider here bringing you the best weapon class setups with the MX Garand and best class setups in general with this gun. I have two class setups for you today. One is where you go heavy on the attachments and one where you go heavy on the perks. The gameplay you're about to see is where I'm heavy on perks and no attachments. For this setup, I have the MX Garand, no attachments. I have the Marshall sidearm, which is a really helpful sidearm, especially at close range. If you needed something in comparison to it, I would use the RK5 and the MR6. With that said, I have no attachments on the MX Garand or the Marshall. I have five perks and one flashbang. My perks are Ghost, Six Sense. I have Fast Hands, so I can swap easier and aim in quicker, kind of make up a quick draw and uh, blast suppressor and awareness uh, since this gun has a few peculiar tricks to it like only having eight rounds in the magazine to start with and the second trick is i have to fire all eight rounds before i can reload regardless so you'll see me <clears throat> just shooting at nothing so i can have a full clip uh, with that said you you want to have at least kind of a more laid back sit back mindset with this weapon you're kind of gonna take down sight lines take down like uh, uh high high traffic like hallways and things like that and you know challenging challenging those 1v1 gunfights uh this gun is great for 1v1s because you have the ability to pretty much destroy somebody with two shots and it's very spammable for the eight shots that you have but if you ever get into a situation where there's more than one person or two people or three people, if they're not lined up in a collateral formation, you're probably not going to win the gunfight. I could be wrong. You, you could pull out some magic, you know, that big deal. But usually what I have to do is, one, I'll either run out of bullets because one person ate too many shots, or two, switch the sidearm to get the final person, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, the next class setup for this weapon is going to be the heavy uh, attachments. The MX Garand, I think I put a boa sight on it just so it doesn't kick as much. Uh, I put a extended mags, fast mags, high caliber. I had a Marshall, no I had no sidearm. I had fast hands, ghost, blast suppressor, and tack mask. This was kind of my more aggressive setup where I challenged people where I shouldn't have. Uh, extended mags with this weapon grants you uh, 12 rounds in the clip, so that's potentially two more kills in your rack up here. Uh, fast mags, I always I always put on fast mags for this weapon because you always have to reload. You can't ever skip it. You always need to reload. So reloading faster is just the better thing to have. Uh, high caliber is just in case you get that one shot headshot and you can pretty much knock out a gunfight before it even starts, which it sometimes happens. Sometimes it saves your life. Sometimes you hip fire, you get a headshot, and you just you're, you're grateful that you don't have to fight this gunfight anymore. The best specialists for this class setups are definitely fire break, pausing people in their place so they can't move from your you know low magazine is great. You can just two shot them, move on, and call it a day. Um, if you're using the high attachment setup, I definitely recommend Ripper for those close range engagements where you might not have the advantage and you don't feel like hip firing or you hip fired all your bullets away and you still need to kill the person that's in front of you. Ripper is really nice. You can just jut towards them and just knock them down. If you're kind of like laid back camping, not camping, I'll say setting up shop, let's put it that way. Um, I would definitely recommend Psychosis. You can kind of spread out some dummies, maybe attract uh, people to shoot at them and to find out where they are and just knock them out before they even get there. Uh, another good specialist would be Glitch because I know how fast and how easy it is to run out of your eight shots and have to reload and be in a crucial situation to actually like you know take down people. Glitch is nice because say you're in a really bad spot and you can't reload and you don't have a sidearm and you have nothing to protect you at this point, teleport backwards and get out of there. Get out of the gunfight, reload, and maybe then re-push the area that you were just in. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I go pretty much, I go pretty off in this. I get two 10 kill streaks. I think I'm like 32 and 2 at the end of this. It's a very laid back gameplay. It's not as aggressive as I usually am. But I have an 8.0 KD, so I thought, why not share it with you guys? If you guys enjoy the video, or you enjoy my class setups, or you have other class setups that I should try, please let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, Please leave a like on the channel, or like on the page, like on the video, whatever it's called, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. This is your boy Hell Raider signing off. Excellent work. They did what they came to do.